Hi folks, welcome again to the Thrones World Cup. So we are still in round 7 and uh, last Saturday we had a live stream but one of the Poland vs China games got postponed so we showed you a game between uh, Germany and Chile instead. So we are going to watch uh, Germany Tyrell White book against uh, the Chile Night's Watch Kraken I believe it is and uh, live commentary for that was uh, recorded uh, during the stream on Saturday so this is uh, what you are about to see. Uh, just to make sure it's showing you on screen I think we are fine. So this is uh, the recording of uh, Chile versus Germany from yesterday. Chile playing uh, Night's Watch Kraken and Germany playing Tyrell Whitebook. King in the North versus Nico, and we are in uh, the opening round where uh, Nico tends to play this game. So, getting the Econ, and uh, if there's an Old Town under City, uh, helps him withdraw as well. He has Old Town here, uh, stuff in shallows, and uh, doesn't do much. That's the general plan. And then waits for Varys and the resets to go through before playing White Swords usually. And uh, I think we missed what the Night Flyer discarded here, but yeah, um, it's yeah. not it's not awful. You can just also um, probably less than <laughs> they will expect, right? Yeah. Even though there's Arbor in. I mean, if you're not actually getting uh, the Arbor discarded, then the choke is very difficult uh, yeah. to maintain for and... the rest of the game. Yes. And then um, he discards another Night Flyer for reserve, so decides that he um, can loop it around one more time and discard the Arbor, that it would be too much of a tempo hit, because That's honestly he doesn't yeah. have great income as well. He could have done it though, right? Uh, assuming he plays nothing burns, get rid of Old Town, then just spend all the gold. Yeah, oh. yeah he doesn't play nothing burns, I think. Oh, actually. he doesn't, okay. He actually would be one gold short because he only has a Rose Road Night Lair and takes two to get into Shadows first. Yeah. Yes, and I I kind of find that um, not playing Nothing Burns is quite a big hit, so I think with the new Restricted list, this is gonna be. Um, I think I watched another game where he played this deck, and I think there was Castle Rock, uh, the big one, and just couldn't get rid of it. Yeah, and. Uh... Nico actually has been tossing in the deck, so that's difficult to choke anyway. Mm. But he usually plays that uh, as a kind of a bait for the opponent to get uh, stuff into play and then plays varies that round. Let's see if that's the plan. Night's Watch Kraken actually, uh, on one hand, if it's an empty board, kind of doesn't do what it's supposed to do with recruiters and your and stuff like that. But on the other hand, that's actually what it needs to win the game because it sucks with power icons and stuff and just needs to get some unopposed uh, challenges once it uh, once the choke actually works and there's no board on the other side. Mm, this is a location that you can use for sparrows. Yeah, if there's not going to be any board then uh, Mutiny and uh, uh, what's the other one? Bloody Copper. <laughs> a bit difficult. Although Mutiny works in uh, dominance against Varys. If you want to play Varys, it lasts to the Giants. There is a window for Mutiny to get rid of him. Good morning, Steven. If you'd like to uh, join in, you can. Oh, actually, you cannot because <laughs> you don't have the recording of this game. Yeah. So, sorry, this is not being played live, just to uh, let everyone know it's a um, recording from yesterday that Sarah recorded. Can't even show you the, the Discord piles or highlight any cards. And I actually have not uh, watched the game. It was during my lunchtime, yeah. so I um, uh, don't know any spoilers, really, apart from who won, because I obviously had to check that. Later. Yeah, I think if somebody wants to join, you can still watch on the stream while commentating because it's um, not that much delay, I think. Also, some power is being gained, and uh, Nico basically 
has the tango no I assume he mm. won't waste it all he, he will yeah he will spend it in the challenges face at least a little bit wants to protect uh, the hand which makes some kind of sense I wonder if he's going to also do other stuff this round. The uh, slight problem for him is that Iron Emmet is now knelt. So uh, some cards are blocked. Sir Robert Strong is blocked, for instance. Yeah. Hmm. Knight of Flowers as well, although I think reset first, Knight of Flowers later. That's the usual plan, right? Yeah, I suppose Knight of Flowers is going to come in from the discard pile, right? Mm hmm. And is this High Tower Spy expendable? It is, okay. <laughs> By the way, if the boards are completely empty, you could try to predict White Swords and just play March to the Wall. Go first, trigger White Swords first. Mm -hmm. So what's the plot instead of Nothing Burns? So... I think I think it's the maiden, right? Was it something like that? Did he start with the maiden? Mm, interesting. Um, um let me check. Doesn't go on anyone, I think, yeah, but uh, Sparrows does. Sp Sparrows can do stuff. And uh, it might be left there to absorb March to the Wall if actually he is going to start playing on the board now. The thing is, usually this deck resets and then starts playing, but uh, against uh, Night's Watch Kraken doesn't take all that much to have uh, basically stronger characters than the opponent does. Ah, uses Unexpected guy here, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, if you have your Knight of Flowers and Baristan, I mean, they're going to dominate against uh, the little guys on the other side, although there is stealth with Iron Emmet. Uh, Morgulis will go through for both players at some point, but uh, Nico also plays close call, if I remember correctly. And uh, now do we have Last of the Giants in Dominance? We do. Into Varys. Now you can do Mutiny on Iron Emmet to get rid of Varys if you like. Because if the... yeah, if Varys goes through... That leaves Aemon. That's not great, suddenly. Then um, Morgulis that you don't want to play. Siege preparations you also don't want to play when you're over-reserved still, probably. Uh, what's political disaster? I think it's a bit early. Hmm. Father, I suppose, is the other one that you could play. Uh, Nico has uh, marched, does he? I suppose he does. Uh, it he could march, uh, I'm Aemon. not sure. He's the one guy Let's that's see, going to be open. annoying with Morgulis, probably. Yeah. yeah there is the answer. Mm. I'm not sure if there's other... Um, how many copies of Mr. Raymond are there? Three? Uh, very likely three, yes. One for Evan. Okay, well, if he'd managed to night fly uh, the arbor, this would have been very decent, but uh, not so much now. I think Nico's fine. Tim Burns and 
You now have a card in shadows, so surely. There's the hop. And I suppose what could be in shadows uh, for Night's Watch, Hagen's Daughter, um, Marauders, yeah. and Old Pilgrim, I think, are the options. And there's another Night Flyer actually, so there could be another Night Flyer, but you have to get rid of it first. So all three he plays, because one is in the discard pile, I think, at this point. Yes, he plays three, yeah. Okay. So I think at that point you really need nothing burns, right, to get rid of it. Are there the other ways? I don't know. Um, Are there any events? No, I don't think so. So it's Marauders and there is some discard pile. We can have a look, chooses the the two cost card and gets rid of Hollow Hill, which is not bad. I'm surprised that's not in play. Uh, but the other cards in hand are Tears of Liss, Lysa, Nightmares, Begging Brother and Sir Robert Strong. Okay, which means mm. uh, Sir Robert Strong probably not in Shadows, I assume there's one. Uh, Lysa, uh, okay. One is already in the Discord pile, so probably not three copies. <laughs> so Lysa wasn't going to come in, so nothing really can be done from hand. Nothing much, okay, I could play Tears of Liss if there's an Intrigue icon coming in, and there is actually, but yeah, I might defend and attack back. Or might defend and defend military as well. Yeah. Can get uh, unexpected guile on him. Although I, I suppose you don't particularly need to try to get some kind of tears of list miracle. There is the father, which is uh, kind of perfect actually for Nico because he just gets Mandon reused and Hob goes can't draw for reserve. Well, I think um, there's a good chance that he plays uh, Unexpected Guy now, right? Mm, I'm not sure I would. Well, he could uh, have it go back to Shadows and then uh, keep the other guys in play if Hobb is going to stay and then you play your own Morghulis, you have to at some point, I guess. Mm-hmm. Well, the hob will draw then, but okay. Hmm, nice. So now the hob will have to go to hand anyway. Ooh, yeah, flyer. so that's the night flyer is gone, right? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, King of the North will really uh, regret not not being able to somehow get rid of the arbor there. I mean, it wastes your I mean, entire round. It yeah, is political disaster. But... Sure, but uh, yeah, you could get rid of night flyer and then you probably need to have it in shadows be beforehand because that that really takes all the gold if you get it through shadows and, and pay four. But yeah, getting rid of the armor, mm -hmm. suddenly the econ is really bad and no longer uh, surviving the the white tree choke. Yeah, and um, now I think siege preparations, you have to do it. Mm. Although, you have one fob in hand and two other cards. It has to be said also that uh, uh, even if if the arbor wasn't there and the econ choke really worked, Nico's going to play two white swords in the late game. Get Knight of Flowers and whatever into play just mm -hmm. for free. That's a very fair plot, as you know. <laughs> yeah. So gets the hand's judgment that he revealed uh, earlier. Not bad in this particular matchup, actually. Stops... Uh, uh, those mutinies and you can stop meager contribution, I guess, if you like. There's the white sword. So still hasn't played Morghulis, right? And uh, King in North hasn't either. Mm -hmm. 
No, yeah, neither of them have more goodies. What? Siege preparation, so you may want to play out as many cards as you can. Yeah, but um, you also can't put too many characters in if you're gonna have to play Morghulis. Mm. And after white three triggers, he will have two gold, which makes some kind of difference if uh, if uh, bloody cup is in hand. Nico still has the whole marshalling phase, so <laughs> marshal might be difficult to get it on the phase on the post. Well, okay, intrigue. One is probably Guile. At the moment, then... I think that hand judgment is still in hand. So if if Bloody Cup is played, could just play a hand judgment, and then he's left with one gold and with unexpected Guile. Actually, Knight of Lars can just defend himself in both of the other two challenges. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, of course, and it could bring stuff out. Yeah, potentially it could be another old Bilbone, right? Because it went to hand. Could be, yes. And there you go. Yeah, can just defend and keep... Uh, keep that hand judgment for rainy days. It could have a mutiny with... That siege preparations happening. Although uh, at this point, still, I mean, the resets has haven't really happened, so the mutiny dupes away usually, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does he want to leave this one? No, he's going to. Uh, Presumably just to pose with Sparrows. He could play Unexpected Guile on Sparrows again, get it back to Shadows, defend with both Stan Knight of Flowers. Uh, that's what he's going to do. Which leaves him with one challenge back, presumably the power, and yeah, he's uh, in a pretty good spot. Uh, no Unexpected Guile though. Put, um, put it on Knight of Flowers if he wants to. I mean, if he expects Morghulis anyway. I'm surprised it didn't come out. It's having Sparrows replayed is always a good idea. I just put it on Sparrows. Maybe it's not actually in Shadows now. It can still come out and stand Night of Flowers, right? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> but does he then actually save him? Put him back into shadows and lose the power? I guess it depends if he has a dupe for him. Um, if you have a dupe for him, then you would just play another white sword and I think you're winning. 
But if you don't, um, Nightwatch has to go for Morghulis. Yeah, this is the reaction window. Yeah, I think he would... Ah, okay. I mean, there wasn't a way actually to bring out Unexpected Guile and uh, put Sparrows back and, and get the stand on Knight of Flowers because uh, if you stand him then, then uh, you're not standing with him with White Book and you can't stand him on attack with White Book. Mm -hmm. So he does it. Can't cheat him into play from shadows with white swords, but okay. And do we have any events? Not sure if it's worth it now. You would do it. I mean, discard your forecaster to get rid of another barrels, maybe, I guess, but. Um... Yeah, it's not worth it, especially with two Morghulises to come, unless you want, uh, well, yeah, I was going to say, unless you want to spend the card so that the hop can draw something else in taxation. And now Sparrows, okay, Unexpected Guy would have been recycled and the chance to actually uh, replay Sparrows. Yeah, but now we don't have Morghulis. And there it is, Unexpected Guy gone for reserve. Um, do we have March still for uh, King in the North, actually? Yeah, but do you want to march Hop to get rid of the other guy? <laughs> actually, he plays his own Morghulis now. Mm. Okay, and that's another um, decision to be made for Nico now. Does he want to save the two power? Or does he want Old Town to stay in play? And he wants Old Town. If you... If you consider that there are going to be two more rounds, I suppose that Old Town should get you about the equal amount of power that's in the gates now. Yeah, and cards. Potentially, and we don't know what his hand is. Uh, we know a few cards that were revealed earlier. Can't play Lysa too expensive. Oh. Are there three copies of gates um, in the deck so you can replay them for... Uh, um, for sparrows. I'm not sure. I think there might be actually a, a starry sept in there as well. Ah, yes. I think they're now all should be gone. Well, this is uh, a round where at least Knights which could get some uh, some of those easy unopposed rights, right? Zero gold. If See, nothing else, Hagen's daughter come. could come out. Yeah, if you had a good, um, you now just get another military icon potentially, and Hagen's daughter, you have three unopposed. And a good one to have now, I think, uh, for the next round, even when Knight of Flowers might get back. Okay, that should be three unopposed and dominance. Should get him to what ten power potentially. Problem is that uh, the rest of the plots are not in his favor. Yeah, so what, there's March and Murgulis, right? I think or, so. Yeah. Could actually pin his own Morghulis, it's, I don't think it's ever going to be in his favor in this matchup. Yeah, you march, potentially, if you march into White Swords, that, that's uh, pretty decent. 
And Nico has what close call? Close call actually pretty good. A spy and old Bill Bone, so it, it doesn't save anything, but that was your card. Alright. Mm. Misses again. But you can now draw less to the giants, and we know there's still lies in hand, right? Uh, also. So that could, I don't know what that could do actually, why, it's, why 3 is duped, so it could uh, target... Well, um, honestly, yeah, even if he targets his own uh, vault, I think it's not too bad, because on Murgulis he then has 2 gold and 1 that gets uh, with white 3. Should be, should be okay. And uh, King of North tries uh, marched. It's into close call, so now it's interesting what the last round will be like because it's going to be Murgulis into white swords and uh, yeah, Nico wins initiative there. Yeah, so that's that kind of sucks for uh, Knights, which really needs to do the, the damage here, but I don't think uh, it because can. you know white swords also on top of everything needs to have six initiative. Yeah, really fair. <laughs> Yeah, and some factions have um, have a lot of king's guards. We never see it played outside of um, white book, really. I think you no, know, briefly uh, in in Terrell line we did in the past, but uh, I mean it could be just um, played normally if you have a probably not in Baratheon though with Barristan is kind of the only one, but in Terrell. Could be considered it's such a good plot, but it's not really. But in, in White Book, absolutely broken, can get you 10 or 11 gold, wins initiative on demand, can protect again resets even with dupes from the discard pile, and works as a quasi draw because it doesn't need to be from hand. So, so Liza comes in. In challenges. Yeah. And she can do a challenge, and she has Intimidate. Yeah, I think um, probably trying to get rid of Theon there, but... Do we defend with both? Or just the one? The risk is, of course, also that her strength could be increased. Or maybe there isn't that risk. There is now High Tower Spy. Misses again actually with the zero cost. Or uh, unexpected is actually is a two cost card, right? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Okay, so Varys not going to come in, begging brother still there. Knight of Flowers is there for the final round. Star is up, the Hound. Uh, at which version would this be? The the four cost one? Mm. Yeah, you can't play yeah, the other I one. I think it's the four cost. You can't play the other the one in Interrail White Book anyway. Uh, okay, so uh, all the danger is actually from Shadows, and there it is. So Robert Strong pushes this through. And it's going to mm. do military as well. Now what? Defend with Zoro the Fat, or do kill Hagen's daughter? Well, I suppose you have two unopposed challenges back right now, which makes it so you get to 12. The problem is there's, um, yeah. If there is no way to win, I don't know, after Murgulis. Mm. Yeah, just get the, the power totals up. The problem is, uh, so Lysa can target limited cards, right? So, I think she can target anything, but... 
not in Dairy Show. <laughs> I know there's some flashing happening with the video. I think um, sometimes when you're uh, switching between windows, it actually that's works good. fine for me. So she targets the underground vault, which may, means it's going to be very difficult to get any kind of board now for uh, Knight's Watch here. 12-9, honestly it's uh, getting closer than expected. Okay, probably Nico could have played this a little more aggressively if if the power totals were more um, were closer together. I mean, he played Robert Strong and then used Unexpected Guile on him to put him back. It's like an investment for the future, but... If it was super urgent, I think he could have uh, played it slightly differently. So there we are. White 3 is still going to do something here. Get, get him an extra gold, could do with the meager contribution as well. If he wastes around with no board, then Nico can go from 9 to 15. Uh, I, I would say so, probably. Yeah, with the unopposed claim, James Renown, Walt on trigger. Seconds. Uh, there's barely enough to get Knight of Flowers out of Shadows, but... I actually finish his marshalling. Yeah, but that's uh, all he needs, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, Hagen's daughter can always come out. Yeah. And that might also be exactly what happens on the other side. Although this time, uh, if there's still, I don't remember, is there still a uh, Nightmares? I don't think so. I think Nightmares got discarded for reserve at some point. Yeah. So Jamie has the renown. He's going to stand with Knight of Flowers coming out of Shadows, right? Yeah. And I will just attack individually and both have Renown on their challenges. Right. I think it's ending here because Old Town is still standing and uh, even if it misses it's going to hit in the standing phase then. Yeah, I think it's this is a good ma matchup for Tyrell but if... Uh, actually if the, the Arbor wasn't there I don't think they would make it. Okay, you have the Pintoshi round but still. You need to um, really stabilize before all the Morgulises, uh, to force Morgulises to be played, because that's where uh, Knight Switch goes, so can potentially run yeah, And actually problems. he gets to 15 before even the old turn trigger, surely. Has Renown? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's the game. I think that was actually the game that got Germany to four wins, if I remember correctly, or was it... Uh, three at this point and then the, the Lucas game. Uh, well, actually, let's not um, discuss too much in case we upload this in chronological order in, in, in which the games were played. So that's uh, basically what we had uh, from this one.